Hey guys, Grana here, and uh, I wanted to bring this commentary for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I'm getting my new PC soon, so I'm going to be playing Minecraft quite a lot and making a few more videos of it. Second, I, uh, I'm i really excited for this update. 1.8 is going to be pretty awesome, and uh, I've got a few things to talk about in this commentary, so let's get into them. And uh, the first one here is obviously going to be what's on front of your screen now, which is a picture of uh, an NPC town and two huge mushrooms, uh, if you don't, didn't already realise. Uh, that brown thing, uh, kind of in the mid-left of the screen, uh, is a huge brown mushroom. It doesn't really look like a mu <laughs> It kind of does and it doesn't. At first I thought it was supposed to be a platform that the NPCs had built. And uh, then I realised that in the background there was a red one. And uh, put two and two together and decided that they're both giant mushrooms. Although I'm not sure what the... Uh, the whole point of them will be, we'll find out soon, I'm, I'm guessing, but uh, yeah, let's get into it about the village itself. I'm not sure that NPCs will actually be in, um, uh, human NPCs that is, will be in their building because, simply put, Notch didn't actually list that there would be NPCs, uh, human NPCs in the game to build them. Uh, I think they'll just be randomly generated because of that fact. Uh, I don't think NPC villages are going to be the highlight of it. I think the other things such as, and I'll list them here and put them on the screen if I remember, uh, randomly generated dungeons. Although there are already dungeons in the game, I do think that um, they'll be uh, they'll be better. They'll be uh, more useful. Maybe you know there'll be like an iron door or something like that. Uh, you go in there and you have to fight your way through more stuff than just a room with mossy cobblestone. And you, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see when we get more information. But uh, also, new biome code, which I think either means that the biomes will be bigger or uh, kind of more. I don't know what the word is. More independent or more immersed, such as uh, the snowy ones, kind of can merge into uh, uh, not. I was about to say a desert. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, kind of. Uh, merge into um, a normal biome better uh, because at the moment like you cross straight into them without there being any snow as you come towards what you get what I mean I hope um, moving on there'll be fully functioning creative mode and then in brackets it says with creative type access to server mods slash admins uh, this basically means that there'll be a creative mode uh, which, if you don't know, that was before survival mode. That was where you didn't actually have any items. You just uh, could destroy and create blocks instantly uh, out of your inventory. You could choose. Uh, I can remember. I can actually remember playing it. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that was how it worked. You could just instantly destroy stuff and play stuff. Uh, the last time I played creative mode was before survival mode came out, which was, I believe, I stopped playing it in March 20. 10, yeah, 2010. Um, uh, but yeah, moving on, critical hits and sprinting. Sprinting is going to be pretty damn useful, firstly, to get away from bloody creepers, <laughs> and second of all, uh, just because it'd be fun to sprint and um, faster to get around. It'd be cool if you put in horses or something, that's what I was thinking, but... Uh, who knows? Who knows what's to come? Uh, critical hits, basically, if you don't know what that means, um, as you hit, uh, uh, you'll hit higher uh, randomly. I believe it will it will kind of matter if you're using a diamond sword or a, an, a, an iron sword. For example, an iron sword has like a 5% critical hit chance. A diamond sword has like a 20 uh, critical hit chance uh, percentage. Uh, but we'll see. As I said, uh, he'll probably be releasing more info as we get it. I know as... Uh, he uh, adds stuff in and actually adds in the details, stuff like that. Uh, if not, then, you know, as soon as the update comes out, I'll have all the information and uh, everyone wins. <laughs> uh, and then the second, no, not the second thing, like the seventh thing uh, is more farming options. A lot of news sites that blatantly haven't played the game actually listed this as uh, farming is introduced to the game. Uh, not realizing that farming has actually been in the game um, ever since the actual adventure, no, not the adventure, the actual um, survival mood came, well, not as soon, but I can certainly remember um, kind of uh, autumn, autumn 2010, you could uh, farm and stuff, uh, so that was definitely in there for ages, um, but I think he means like there maybe be uh, an actual system for collecting water, maybe it's got something to do with pistons, that would be cool, um, industrial revolution in Minecraft incoming, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the, the final thing that is actually not listed on his blog, um, but he actually tweeted this, and that is brightness, uh, you can actually change the brightness now, and, uh, slide it up and down depending on what you want, and he said real adventure, no, yeah, real adventurers, 
or real miners uh, play on lowest brightness. Uh, but the reason this is cool is because when you're recording Minecraft, for some reason, uh, this happens to everybody. If you're recording, for some reason, the saturation is terrible and you can't see very far. So you have to spam torches everywhere as you go. And uh, it's not really that great for the viewers. So maybe brightness turned up, uh, not too much, but a little bit uh, will help with that and uh, make th things look a lot better. Uh, and the last picture I want to know is this, and this is a fort, and uh, I'm going to move straight past this and go on to my super awesome edited version of it here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, I'm not too great in uh, Photoshop, gotta admit, but um, this is just crude, I did this in about 5 seconds, and uh, I wanted to point out a few things. Can you kind of see uh, how the blocks don't look like full blocks? It might just be me, honestly, it may just be me being a dumbass um, but it does look like there are quarter blocks now in the game if, if you look it doesn't like the, look like they're full huge blocks because if you compare them with the trees I don't know they don't look um, uh, fully resized I was hoping that there'd be like a cow to compare it with or humans so we actually did know uh, but it appears not so uh, who knows it may be just me being an idiot but anyway if you look behind no, below that beam um, going across sort of the mid screen if you look below that, I'm not really sure what that is. I think that may be an iron gate, which le also led me to believe that this could maybe be the entrance into a dungeon. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure on that. Uh, I don't even know if that is an iron gate below that. It could just be some sort of cobweb or something that I can't even recognize. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, but it certainly isn't, uh, isn't an iron door or the current iron door. And uh, also, I forgot to mention, this is actually the new... new, uh, the new how do I explain it? The new image, the new version of Cobblestone and Mossy Cobblestone looks a lot better in my opinion. Uh, still 8-bit, just upgraded, uh, which is maybe why it looks like they're quarter blocks when in actual fact they're full blocks. Who knows? It would be pretty cool if you did put in quarter blocks, but uh, I think it may just be the scale of the image and they are actually just normal blocks. Who knows? Uh, we will see when the update comes out. But anyway, this video is pretty much over. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, yeah, please leave a like, leave a comment if you want, and uh, I'll see you soon. See ya.